Hello everyone, I'm Aaron, a birding naturalist. Welcome back. I am camping and I've found myself surrounded by these banana slugs. Banana slugs like this one represent actually a group of five different species in North America, and they are the largest species of slug on the continent. They can get up to 10 inches long, so this is just a small one. They love the cool, moist forests of Western North America, and they eat all sorts of stuff, which is one of the really big functions that they have in the ecosystem. They are detritivores, which means they eat detritus. They eat fallen leaves, dead plant material. They eat animal droppings. They eat fungus. They eat moss, like the one, like the stuff that this one is crawling over right now. And in eating this dead material, breaking it down and pooping it out, they leave behind really nitrogen-rich, nutrient-rich feces, which acts basically as fertilizer to the forest. Another function that they have is regarding their slime. Since they're slimy, like most slugs are, they've got the ability to have fungus spores and plant seeds sometimes get stuck to the slime and then transported throughout the forest, which means that they have a role in dispersal. So they're detritivores, very important. They're also dispersers, also very important. So some really great functions that they have in the ecosystem. As far as slug anatomy goes, banana slugs have very similar anatomy to other slugs. My co-star is wandering off here. Where are you going? You don't have to be camera shy. All right, well, we'll look at a different slug then. Banana slugs, like I said, like other slugs, have two pairs of tentacles. They have the upper optical tentacles, they're sort of eye stalks, and they have lower sensory tentacles, which are kind of their taste, smell, and touch tentacles. They have this mantle that covers the front part of their body, and in it, there is a pneumostone. The pneumostone is the opening to their one lung. Slugs only have one lung. And so that's how they breathe, their breathing hole. The rest of their body is basically their tail, and the underside has a strong muscular foot that they use to move around. And then of course, edging the foot is this lovely foot fringe, which is very pretty. Banana slug slime is also fascinating stuff, specifically banana slug slime. Yes, it has this ability to get stuff stuck to it and disperse. But how it does that and what it is made of is kind of incredible. Banana slug slime is neither technically a true liquid nor a true solid. It is this strange liquid crystalline structure which the banana slugs secrete and which can absorb moisture from its environment and increase up to 10 times the volume of its original secretion, which is pretty phenomenal. A lot of human scientists, material scientists, are actually studying banana slug slime in the hopes of finding uses for it for other humans. So my co-star wandered off for this segment, which makes sense because we're going to talk about the things that eat banana slugs, and it probably didn't want to be around for that. Banana slugs are often eaten by several species of mammals, several species of bird, and several species of amphibians. And while they aren't a dominant part of any of those animals' diets, they definitely do comprise sections of those diets. The animals have some interesting tricks for getting around the banana slug slime, though. Birds and mammals especially are often seen rolling banana slugs in dirt to try to get that slime off, sort of get it absorbed in the dirt, and then sort of slid off. So that then makes the banana slugs somewhat more palatable. 
So all in all, fascinating animals. And of course, also really fun, not just because of all the information about them, but because of how they look. They look kind of like bananas. The classic banana slug is kind of this yellow color, very similar to a nice banana. The name similarity, though, goes farther than that because some banana slugs are kind of more of a greenish yellow, like an unripe banana. And some banana slugs, like my co-star there, had some splotching on it. This can be brown or even black splotching. They can be very few splotches or very extensive splotching, which are also kind of reminiscent of like a ripening or even overripe banana. So the name parallels very well with many different color patterns of banana slug, which is pretty fun. It also, these different color patterns makes it really fun to see because every one of them is a little bit different. So I'm curious, what colors and patterns of banana slugs have you seen? Share in the comments your uh, favorite banana slug observations. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked learning a little bit about banana slugs, these wonderful, fun organisms that can be found in the moist forests around us. Thank you very much for the view. Subscribe to the channel. Until next time, enjoy the natural world.